All right, got a couple pieces of mail to open. Oh, make sure I don't flash the uh, address. So I figured I'd just open these up on camera. We can see what I what I purchased, because I don't remember, really. I think this is the one from Canada. I bought one of the new Unified Minds Full Art Trainers from a guy who was at did one of the pre-release events. Yeah. So I don't know if you all have seen the new Full Art Trainers. So this is gonna be Grimsley. I'm not sure which game he's from, but I really like the Full Art Trainers. I sent them off to PSA. I didn't look at the back. So I got a post on Facebook, cropped up. It was like a couple bucks for a Full Art Trainer. Brand new from the new set. Figured I'd snatch it. The centering looked good on the front. So let's hope the back looks nice too. Yeah. Centering's really good, top to bottom, left to right. Looks like there's whitening on it. So definitely can't send it off to PSA, unfortunately. Seeing the bottom left here, top right. Oh well. Cool looking card, I'll probably just throw it back up on TCG or eBay. That's what happens when you buy semi-blind and don't ask for a pick of the back. All right, let's see what else we got. Let me know when you get it. All right, Ryan, well I got it. So I think I got this from a guy off of Reddit, Full Art Glaceon. Evolutions are usually pretty popular. Centering looked pretty good on this one. I saw some pics of the back before I bought it. Let's take a look at the back. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Good centering, not seeing any whitening on it. it. Looks like there might be like a scratch or something. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera. Yeah, like see right there where my thumb is. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'll send that one off. I'll take another look at it. All right, well, let's see what else we got. Sleeve this up. All right, so this is the one I'm actually excited about. This should be a first edition Brock and first edition Misty. So two first edition Watsy trainers and actually traded for this on Reddit. I sent the guy two Poncho Pikachu cards, Japanese promos. See if there's any whitening or anything on the back, how the hollow looks. So the front actually looks really good. I'm not seeing any scratching. Not really seeing any scratching or anything on the hollow. The centering actually looks pretty good. Look at that hollow, oh my gosh, that looks so nice. The back looks pretty good, a smidge of white on the bottom left corner. Maybe a bit on the bottom right. All in all, good looking card, probably a solid nine. Maybe a long shot 10. They're usually pretty harsh on Watsy cards or Wizards of the Coast stuff. Definitely send that one off, see what we can get. Go ahead and sleeve it up. All right, let's take a look at the Brock. We'll see if he's a PSA 10 candidate. Hope so. Again, really good. F Ooh, what's that? A couple print lines, it looks like. Probably not a 10. Check the back. Print dot right here at the top left. A little bit of whitening down here in this bottom right corner. So, not a 10 candidate, probably a nine. All in all, still definitely a mint card, just not a gem mint. So, that's all right though. I'll send them both off to PSA. If they both come back nines, that's all right. First edition Brock, first edition Misty. Really love the hollow pattern in these. Two really good looking cards. So I'll do a PSA returns video whenever I end up sending these off. And again, it probably takes about four months to get them back. So anyway, quick little mail video. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. 
really helps me 